what's up guys welcome back to the ufc arena we're talking ufc fight night kelvin gastelum versus robert whitaker it is now in the books the card itself wasn't the most exciting card however robert whitaker put on a master class performance and we're definitely gonna talk about that in my prediction video i spoke about andrew alowski versus chase sherman I chose Chase Sherman to win barely and he didn't. Andrea Lowski won a three round decision. It wasn't a very entertaining fight. Um, Chase Sherman definitely isn't going to cut it. If you can't beat Andrea Lowski or if you can't perform better against Andrea Lowski, I'm sorry, the UFC is not really the place for you. You're not even going to be a gatekeeper. So I was very disappointed <laughs> in Chase Sherman for that fight. Andre Olowski is still kicking, still going, and as long as the UFC is allowing him to fight, I think he should be able to because it's not like he's getting destroyed in these fights, you know. Andre Olowski is still pretty competitive against these young up-and-comers, and I think he's a good gatekeeper and he's a good thing for this heavyweight division. Next up, we had Jeremy Stevens versus Jakar Close, and this fight went kind of how I said it was. <laughs> Okay, not really. I predicted that Jeremy Stevens was going to KO Jakar Close maybe in the second round. What I did not predict was that he was going to KO Jakar Close before the fight even started during the face-offs when he pushed him and gave him a concussion. Like, that's ridiculous, man. That's so unfortunate too because that would have made this fight card a lot better because I'm sure that was going to be a bang of a fight. I hope Jakar Close recovers quickly and they could put the fight back on. And you know, next time Jeremy, just you know, keep your hands to yourself because I mean, who would have thought that the guy would come up in your face during a face off? I mean, big shocker there. He didn't even do anything. People have these close stare downs all the time. So <laughs> in some ways, Jeremy Stevens definitely overreacted. Of course he didn't expect this to happen, but it is what it is, right? That's gonna add a bit more venom to this fight now. Anyway, moving on to the main event and the main thing that we want to talk about, Robert Whittaker versus Kelvin Gastelum. I was right in my prediction of this one as well. I thought that Robert Whittaker would win. I thought that his striking would be too much for Gastelum. I thought that if Gastelum tried to wrestle, he would not be able to, which is what happened. And I thought that Gastelum's striking had deteriorated a little. Now, Gastelum in this fight, he didn't look bad. He didn't look bad at all. He had that fighting spirit, you know, he was there. This was not a compromised Gastelum. This was a very good Gastelum that Whitaker was fighting here. But the scary thing is, guys, Robert Whitaker has gotten better. This man is improving. His striking is better than it was ever before. And that's scary because his striking was always really good. But now it's even better. This was completely a masterclass performance by Robert Whittaker. This fight was not even close. Robert Whittaker was on point. He was in that flow state where he couldn't do anything wrong. He was countering beautifully. He had a wide variety of strikes. He threw deep kicks. He threw kicks straight up the middle to um, Gastelum's chin. He stomped Gastelum's knee. He had a nice check left hook. Nice combinations. Nice counters. He was always ready for Gastelum when he entered. He had excellent movement excellent timing he just completely outclassed Gastelum from the start to the finish it was a tough fight as he said after but man Whitaker was really impressive in that fight and what's next for Whitaker is a no-brainer he absolutely has to fight Adesanya next I know that Marvin Vittori wants a title shot but there's no way that he's above Whitaker Whitaker since he's lost to Adesanya has defeated Darren Till Jared Kanane and Kelvin Gastelum all to defend his number one spot so there's nothing else left next fight has to be Whitaker versus Adesanya and with this new and improved Whitaker I give him a much better chance of winning I'm not saying he's going to win but I definitely think a second fight between these two would be more competitive and we saw the wrestling of Robert Whitaker that's something I forgot to talk about his wrestling was impressive in this fight Gastelum came in as the wrestler you know but he was unable to stop Whitaker's takedown Whitaker was able to connect his hands with those double underhooks and take Gastelum down several times during the fight and he was able to hold him down too so I'm sure Whitaker was paying attention to that Ian fight Adesanya versus Jan Blakowicz so I'm sure that 
he might you know try to implement some wrestling here and there he'll be more patient this time when he's fighting adesanya he won't dart in like he did the last time so the second fight would definitely be a harder fight for adesanya and i think that would definitely be a fight between the best two guys in this division unfortunately for marvin vittori he's just gonna have to fight someone else all you need to do vittori fight someone else win another fight and then the next fight is yours i'm sure because adesanya likes to stay active if he wins he will definitely fight you and if whitaker wins i don't think you'd have any issue fighting vittori as well so yeah that's all i have to say about this card robert whitaker was definitely the star of the show he impressed me in every aspect i'm not going to underestimate robert whitaker anymore those days are done i'm fully converted robert whitaker is a beast and i'm looking forward to seeing his next fight hopefully versus adesanya we have a big 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 card coming up ufc 261 Usman versus mars Vidal. Weili Zhang vs Rose Nama Yunus, Valentina Shevchenko vs Jessica Andrade. You know your boy will be watching. I will drop my video, my prediction and breakdown video soon. So stay tuned for that one and stay tuned for the reaction after the card. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed my content, please remember to like, please remember to subscribe. Click the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I drop a new video. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one.